it's Emily here from Little Beats, and I'm here today with my assistant, Miss Jordy, and my other assistant, my nephew, Mr. Bashy, and my niece, Sunny Bunny. We're so excited to be here at our at-home classroom where we'll be doing activities and songs and story times for you all week long to give you something to do at home. So today we're going to do what we call in my IntelliDance Babies class, brain play exercises. So we're going to move around our babies in some really important critical ways that help build brain and body integration and help them set up their body and a foundation for reaching all the milestones that they're going to yeah. reach in the first year of their life. So let's, if you have a baby at home or if you have a make pretend baby at home, lay your baby down right in front of you. Brain play is also a great way to really build a nice, secure bond with your baby. There's nothing they love doing more than looking you in the eyes and singing songs with you. So I wish you could see Sunny Bunny's big smiles, but she's ready. Okay, so we're going to start with one, two, buckle my shoe. So we're going to bicycle their legs just like this. I bring the knee up to the belly and I alternate knee after knee after knee. And I go one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, do it again. And we always clap, we say yay! And one tip for the folks at home who have little babies. I need to passy. Oh, yeah, baby has a passy if she gets fussy. So we always do playtime exercises with our babies after they've had a good nap, after they've had a bottle and they have a nice clean diaper. So they're in a good mood, no needs, just ready to play and interact. Sunny's about three months old. So you might do this a little differently with an older baby. She's really great because she just lays here. She's not moving around and crawling yet. But if you have a crawling baby, they might like some more active floor play songs. But you could still do this with them if they're in the mood. Another one I like to do with Sunny, this always makes her laugh, is we count to five and then we tickle her. So this is great for eye tracking because she makes eye contact with my finger. It's great for language development because we're going to be doing some counting. And it's also great for activating her tactile sensations because I'm going to tickle her and she's going to giggle, giggle, giggle. All right, do you want to do it with your baby? Um, I'm going to do it with Sunny. Okay, you can do it with me. Ready? One... Two, three, four, five, and then my number five hand turns into a tickle hand, and I go tickle, 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 exercises with us today. We love having you. We'll be doing a whole bunch more stuff here from our Little Beats from Home classroom, oh, aka Jordy's room. So we'll, we'll end this one and maybe we'll do another one. What do you think about that? Yeah. Say bye to our friends. Bye, bye. Should, we sing, should we sing our bye bye song? Yeah. Yeah? Goodbye, mm -hmm. goodbye everyone. We all danced and had such fun. Reach up high and touch your toes. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Now it's time for us to go. Goodbye, dancers, big and small. Goodbye, dancers, one 